Technology and the Brain Did you know that the brain is basically the boss of everything that makes us do what we do? Just think about brushing your teeth for a minute. We do this every day, but your brain does so many things when we do this simple task. Our brain has to tell your hand to pick up the toothbrush, then squeeze your toothpaste onto it, then raise your arm to get the brush into your mouth, and finally start brushing your teeth. At the same time, the brain is typically watching you do this in a mirror, communicating whether the toothpaste tastes minty or not, and determining when you need to spit. Everything you do impacts your brain. We're going to be talking about the brain today because it does more than just help us brush our teeth. It impacts everything we do in life. However, you also have to be careful because everything you do also impacts your brain, both good and bad. Let's learn about your brain's amazing design and function first. Your brain is made up of four lobes, a cerebellum, and a brainstem. Each lobe of your brain has a specific function or job that include things like problem solving, memory, taste and temperature, vision and color perception, balance and breathing, just to name a few. The frontal lobe helps with problem solving, emotions, reasoning, speaking, and motor activity. It is, in essence, the control panel of our personality and gives us our ability to communicate. This is the last area of the brain to be fully developed, which typically happens between 25 to 28 years old, which is why adolescent brains tend to think in very impulsive and emotional ways. The temporal lobe's function is to understand language, manage behavior, memory, and hearing. This lobe holds your primary auditory cortex, which is like a hearing processor that interprets both speech and vision. Without this part of the brain, we wouldn't be able to understand what anyone was saying to us. The parietal lobe helps us with knowing left from right, taste, temperature, and body orientation. Without the parietal lobe, you would not be able to feel sensations of touch or taste, and that would mean you could never enjoy ice cream on a hot day the same way. The occipital lobe is responsible for vision and color perception. Our occipital lobe helps us not only see, but it also processes that information and helps us translate it into something we can understand. Cerebellum is the rounded area in brown below the temporal lobe. Your cerebellum is one of the most important parts of your brain because it controls balance, coordination, and controls voluntary movement and fine muscle control. It is extremely important because it basically coordinates movements for everyday tasks such as walking and writing. Brainstem is the tube coming out from under the cerebellum. Finally, the brainstem controls the flow of messages between the brain and the rest of your body. It also controls basic body functions, such as breathing, swallowing, heart rate, blood pressure, consciousness, and whether one is awake or sleepy. So, now that we know what our brain does, you may be wondering why it is important and how technology, specifically screen time, may impact your brain. Well, after years of studying what exposure to technology can do, scientists have found that all this screen time is actually changing the structure of our brain and changing the way kids think and focus. Since a child's brain is still rapidly developing and malleable, which means it is constantly changing and adapting, the frequent exposure to technology is actually rewiring and damaging the brain differently than in previous generations. A lot of what causes this damage is due to how much we use technology. So, how much is too much? It depends on what kind of technology and how you're using it, of course. But if you spend more than three hours a day on a device doing something that isn't for school, like social media, gaming, or surfing the web, you can actually be damaging your brain. We know that the average child spends about nine hours a day in front of a screen with more than three hours of it not being educational. Parents, educators, and other adults can see that this is causing a lack of attention and focus, anxiety, irritable mood, and sometimes even feelings of sadness or depression. Look up your screen time on your device and figure out how many hours you spend behind a screen. You should ask your parents about their screen time too, because parents sometimes don't realize how much they spend online too. 
At first, technology seems like it can make you happy, but ultimately, science now proves that too much of it can actually cause more bad than good. Let's take a look at what's happening to the brain and why it might be important for you to limit screen time. The brain is made up of two types of brain matter, gray and white matter. Gray matter helps you process information, plan, prioritize, organize, and control emotions. Many studies have shown that when kids spend a lot of time in front of screens, gray matter actually shrinks, which leads to poor decision making, lack of focus, and difficulty concentrating. Think of all those lobes and the important jobs they have. Now imagine what happens if your brain starts shrinking in those areas. It's scary, right? The white matter is what connects your lobes to each other and sends messages within your brain. Kind of like the superhighways of the world. Just like a circuit in a piece of electrical equipment, hours spent in front of screens may cause short-circuiting or potholes on your brain's highway, which causes communication to break down, leaving you feeling frustrated or confused. And for students of all ages, studies are also showing that too much screen time can impact relationships with family and friends, affect academic achievement, reduce performance in sports, and take time away from important hobbies. The best and easiest solution to excessive screen time is to limit the amount of time you spend in front of a screen. Tell your family you want to start keeping track of how much time you spend in front of a screen each day. Remember, doctors recommend no more than two hours of non-academic screen time daily for healthy brains. It's important to make good choices and focus on your academic, social, and physical life, but it is more important to have the knowledge of why you should make these choices. Your brain is your command center, and it will help you reach all of your goals and dreams if you take care of it. Make sure you choose to limit screen time to ensure you have a healthy brain and good balance in your life.